today's stage from Smara to Zurat. We go in to Mauritania and out of Morocco. A road section of 121 kilometers before another biggie. 492 kilometers of special stage just starting over the border into Mauritania and then a short road section here to Zurat. Dawn this morning at the stage just over the border into Mauritania. Concentration everywhere. Yeah, in special in Morocco, very dangerous, bad, full of stones, full of crepes in the terreno, and so for me it didn't pay the pena di andare forte. Oggi comincia la vera corsa sulla sabbia e quindi spero che vada tutto bene anche se su questa pista proprio l'anno scorso ho avuto, ho ancora il ricordo, del problema avuto con la mousse scoppiata proprio nella pista verso Atar, quindi quest'anno penso e spero che vada meglio. The border of Morocco towards Mauritania still littered with the odd mine in the odd place, but fortunately the track marked out. Right then, Andy Caldicott was first on the stage this morning from Australia, by definition of being the victor from yesterday. It was quick at the beginning. Boy, it was quick. 100 miles an hour for the riders for one and a half hours flat chat. All the way. It was extremely quick. Pal Anders Olavaceta having a good run through the stage early on. De Azevedo from Brazil, likewise keeping it wide open. Sanna, our first look at the Italian this year. He was doing well, likewise was Chris Blaise having another solid run on his rookie event here in Africa. Mioni was concerned about his moose. That stops the rear tyre completely going flat, but if it gets too hot, it can completely chunk the tyre. Alfie Cox from South Africa. He was fourth out of the starting blocks this morning, and therefore eight minutes back of the first bike on the road. Cyril Dupre and Mark Coma were two minutes ahead of Cox, respectively, which therefore left Andy Caldicott from Australia to be first on the road. He could only look back and see where the others were coming from. And the answer is, well, it was Mark Comer who was going to catch him first, and he did. Comer made up two minutes. Then into the refueling, a 15-minute neutralised section for the riders to refuel. Uh, it's very, very difficult with the wind. Uh, it's very hard to hold the course and uh, very difficult, uh, but it's OK. And what about visibility? Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, some places it is a little difficult with the, with the dust, but mostly not too bad. Caldicott from South Australia, a small town called Keith. It's his second Dakar, and he's had his first stage victory. Last year, the town really clubbed together a bit of money so that he could do the Dakar. Now KTM Australia have chipped in together with MotorX, and he and David Schwartz, his teammate, doing well. Andy sixth on the stage, now fourth overall, even though he had this quick tumble. Teammate David Schwartz, 37th in the overall standing. standings, he being a first-timer on the Dakar. Cyril Dupre here, podium man last year on the Dakar. Today Dupre fourth on the stage, but he leads overall. Navigation, really his kind of thing. Kind of stage that really suited Dupre. Not that technical, but very, very difficult with the navigation. Dupre leads overall. Dupre having, of course, caught Andy Caldicott, caught him for four minutes. That was on the stage. Poor Andy Caldicott really really there uh, to be caught. It was relatively easy for the riders to catch Caldicott. 
really like shooting fish in a barrel. Here's Mark Coma. A little lost he is at this moment in time. Second overall, only to Dupre, some 34 seconds back of the Frenchman. Here we have Fabrizio Mioni and Alfie Cox. Mioni third in the overall standings, only one minute and 15 seconds back of Dupre. Cox, a little further back, he's in fifth, three minutes and 20 seconds back. Here's Palander's Oliver Setter, second on the stage today, seventh overall. By the time everybody got to the finish, where it was not so quick, everybody all together. Alfie Cox wary though with his teammate Fabrizio Mioni towards the end of the stage. Mioni saying, I don't know if I'm going to get to the finish. My moose has gone in my rear tire. Alfie there as a loyal servant though. Also dropping back behind Mioni to see what the tire was looking like. Mioni not going too quickly in case it, the beading came off the rim and then he would have absolutely no chance. He made it just to the finish. Fabrizio Mioni being victorious on the stage though, even with that rear tyre problems, just ahead of Ulovaceta, Cox being faithful, could have won it probably, ahead of Dupre and Coma. Overall, Dupre though leads by just half a minute from Coma. Mioni third, Caldicott now fourth, Cox fifth. Puyol, Ulovaceta, Fretinier, Dabrowski and Chris Blaise. Fabrizio Mioni saying, difficult day, the problem is the moose in the rear tyre. About 90 kilometres an hour, 90 kilometres from the finish, the moose went. The tyre was so difficult from then on in. I had to reduce my speed by about 30 kilometres an hour from then on in. I had to let the others go because if I went so quickly, he would have just completely exploded and touched the chain, maybe even taken the chain off. Difficult at the end of the day, but it all got done. All of our set are saying, very, very wind today, very difficult to, to find the best way. Made good navigation though I did on the stage, I quite like the sand with the camel grass. Good day overall, I'm, I'm very happy. That was the real, the real Mauritanian desert, and we've done it before up until the refuel, and then after the refuel, it was a new piece, but a lot of camel grass, but really good in the sand, you know, very fast. No problem with the navigation? Yeah, it was a big problem today, after the refuel. It was not so easy to find your way, and Fabrizio made the best job out of everybody.